Article 40, shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 for the purpose of creating and supporting the Town of Hampton Naval Committee Fund with said sum of $10,000 to come from the unassigned fund balance. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the work of the committee is completed or by March 31, 2024, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0. Not recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, 2-5-1. Fiscal impact note, Finance Department, zero tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 40? Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Ms. Barnes. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard on Article 40? Mr. Edgar. Uh, Mike Edgar, 7 Ann's Terrace. Yes, I do support this article, and I hope the, the whole town does. Um, I have been involved in some of the more recent uh, committees that are associated with uh, supporting uh, these uh, Navy vessels that are most notably, of course, the USS uh, Hampton, uh, which most recently was uh, was in uh, in our area, and now it's back in its home port in San Diego. But uh, I would hope that the town would support this. This is a, a long range. Uh, as you can see, the article goes out to uh, 2024. And uh, there was a decision made by some members of the town to uh, try to support some of these other vessels that are uh, other subs. Um, and right now, as, as many of you know, uh, we're working with uh, USS Virginia. So I would uh, hope people that would, uh, would support this. It's sometimes not fair to ask uh, individual uh, businesses to continually uh, put in money and, and hopefully we would uh, be able to get reduced tickets available, uh, be able to pay partially for some of the activities that we would like to help support with the individuals. Plus, also, uh, we, uh, we, we do actually uh, do activities with with the with the different crews, uh, some of which uh, you know benefit the town. That's not why we're doing it, but it just works out that way. Uh, let them uh, work on some of our playgrounds, like they have in the past, and they're getting ready to help us quite a bit. In fact, there was about 35 or 40 of them that was going to help us with King's Kingdom, and then that was uh, we were prevented from doing that from the weather. So, um, I, like I said, I hope people will uh, consider this and support the, uh, the crews of these uh, various ships that were, uh, boats that were associated with. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Anyone else wish to be heard? Mr. Warburton. Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Moderator, I am against this article, uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, for many years, I was proud, and I know former selectmen, my colleague Selectman Rice, and many others were members of the USS Hampton Committee and beyond which was the precursor to this. Um, I've heard comments uh, by the, uh, the support of this article in, in public meetings that you know they had to pay some of their own money and the, uh, the hours that the, the people volunteer. I think we're going down a very rough road if we start asking the taxpayers for money. I pers personally paid for my trip to Norfolk, Virginia. A lot of us in town that worked on the USS Hampton Committee worked with beach businesses, town businesses, and we sold coffee cups, we sold uh, pins, which many of us still have, we sold t-shirts. Um, even back when the late Arthur Moody went down for the christening in 1991 to USS Hampton, which was named after four Hampton communities, uh, there is no one that, that can uh, say the involvement, more than myself and a few others, because I'm so proud to have known four USS Hampton commanders and I got to know and I still keep in touch. But I think when we're asking taxpayers because the reason is, well, we need to, we, we entertain or we take them out or we need funds. That is not something the taxpayers should be paying for. Um, it's a great experience. We had cookouts here. Sheila Franker, who was here, was spearheaded uh, one of the major cookouts in 1996 at Tuck Field. Um, and we had people back then, we had uh, David Lang, Steve Henderson, and others who got rallied all the employees together. They raised money, they contributed. And the only other thing I want to mention, and Mr. Boudreaux is aware of this. About six months ago, beyond, a man by the name of Al Flurry, who owns four businesses, pays a lot of taxes in this town, brought 15 of his people up to the Five Corners to build that playground. 
So he put in a lot of volunteers hours himself, just like all of you do, members of the board sitting here now. Rusty, I know, for instance, does a lot of community service volunteer work. I think we gotta continue on that, but to ask the taxpayers for $10,000 for another committee, when in fact it has worked fine, uh, and I certainly appreciate Representative Edgar's work most recently with USS Hampton, but I think we're going down a very slippery slope by asking the taxpayers to support this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Warburton. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Um, I have to agree with Mr. Warburton. Um, the beauty of having a volunteer committee that helps, that would help our, uh, the crews that come in here on the USS Hampton and other ships, the beauty of having a volunteer committee is that it is a volunteer committee and that we work as a community. When you start going after the taxpayers for things that are nice to have, and you start adding ships on, uh, it's the, the Hampton, and then it's the Virginia, and then it's probably a couple others that may come in, and you hit the taxpayers up for that. Now, nobody says you have to go to Norfolk. I never went to Norfolk, I went to some stuff here. Uh, I've helped on, uh, uh, there were like a half a dozen of us. Uh, uh, Mike Edgar uh, and I were both there when we uh, helped work on uh, uh, one of the playgrounds over near the Tuck Museum. Uh, and there were a few uh, crew members uh, came in, I believe. But we did that on a volunteer basis. And I did it because it was, you can either give time or you can give money. If I don't have a lot of money, then I'll give my time. And I did that. And I've done that for a lot of things like that. Uh, I think that volunteer efforts should stay as volunteer efforts. $10,000 is a lot of money. Uh, it's a lot of money in a small town. And I haven't heard anything said yet about what this would be used for. If it's to be used for travel so people can go to Norfolk for other things, well, let Norfolk do that. Let Hampton do the things that are here for Hampton. We're supposed to be a host committee, a uh, host town. Um, does Portsmouth do as much as we do? I don't think so. I don't think any of the other towns around here do. And, uh, but I, I just would hope that if we're going to spend if we're going to spend $10,000 to send somebody there, get a business to support it. Yes, get the business to support it. Guys like Al Fleury and others in town, Desi, they do so much in the way of volunteer stuff for the military, and I think that's very appropriate. But to say to the taxpayers, you must pay this because we'd like to take a trip or something like that, I think that's going a little bit beyond. I'd rather see it remain as a volunteer effort. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 40? Mr. Jones. $10,000, such a terrible amount of money in a $28 million budget, huh? But there are some important principles here, uh, some of which are um, the, as Mr. Rice pointed out, there is no specificity as to how this money is to be spent, if it's to be spending it for any reason whatsoever, it appears. My other problem with it is they're using the unassigned fund balance, which you may think of as surplus on a simple level, but the technical name is unassigned fund balance, right? But we've heard throughout the year how important it is to preserve the unassigned fund balance because we do need to have a healthy unassigned fund balance for cash flow purposes. Um, we shouldn't be using uh, the unassigned fund balance for this kind of optional activity. I wonder, Mr. Moderator, is it possible to amend this article to uh, remove the reference to the unassigned fund balance. If you did that, you're changing the source of the uh, revenue, which I believe is, is um, acceptable. So if you want to propose that amendment, um, you ought to put it in writing, and then I need to get a second. So I think what you're saying is You probably well, put a period after Naval Committee fund, and you correct. would delete with said sum come, uh, to come from the unassigned fund balance. Right. That, the comma after the fund would be a period, and no words after that up to the next period. Right. Okay. So. Um, Before I write it up, can I get a second on removing the reference to the unassigned fund balance? Is there anybody who seconds Mr. Jones's amendment? Well, I guess not. I don't see it. So uh, the other problems that are, that are existing with this is 
as I said, there's no specificity as to how the funds will be spent. We're going to hold this money for five years until it's spent, if necessary. Don't know why we need that long a period of time for a lousy $10,000, but whatever. And by the way, it just keeps coming up to me, the Naval Committee Fund, which implies that we're going to be welcoming the Navy, apparently any Navy, including the Russian Navy. Vote no. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 40? Yeah. Ms. Bridal. First of all, as a member of the previous Hampton Committee that was just uh, last year, I don't believe anybody was paid to go on any trips. Matter of fact, I think the chairman went out to San Diego on his own dime for that. So to, to think that we're sending people on trips or, or doing it, that's kind of a false or misleading statement. Second of all, we have been asked by the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard if we could help them out and be a host city for more than just the USS Hampton. Now, when the USS Hampton was here, we did a lot of that. We worked with them. We did have fundraising. I've done money of it as well as many others here, including Mr. Warburton. However, they've asked us now, and I think this is under uh, more or less, you could put it under patriotic service. I think that the, the, the town should feel honored that the Navy Yard has asked us to help them. And I think we should, we should support this. I think it's a, a good thing, and it's $10,000. And to keep it on for a number of years, maybe, that, maybe that's because, one, that ship's going to be here for two or three or four years. And second of all, that does not preclude any other funds from being raised to do stuff. And I know we have a lot of businesses in this town that donate and donate well to the, these type of funds. But you want to know something? If we need a little seed money for here or there, it's a good thing for this. It's a good thing for our community. It's a good thing to help support our servicemen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bridle. Anyone else wishing to be heard? When you get done with the okay. Yeah, Seeing none, Article 40 will appear on the ballot as printed. Uh, we didn't get a second. 